Look at your top story says students at Lisbon High School are returning to school this morning after a tense day of protests demanding action. It's all happening because a female student says she was raped by a classmate and the school is failing to make her and others feel safe. Our Zach Blanchard has been live in Lisbon all morning and has the latest for us. Zach, what are police doing about this? Good morning, Lee and Jess. Yeah, they uh, say they are investigating the claims, but other than that, they're not saying much else uh, surrounding these allegations. Now, the scene here at the Lisbon High School, much quieter than it was just yesterday when at least 75 students were gathered here in protest to demand the school do more. But here's what we know so far. It all started from a Facebook post by 18-year-old Kirsten Kolesnik, who took to the social media app describing what happened, she says, happened to her, saying she was raped in her car in the school parking lot by a classmate last month. The post has since been shared thousands of times. Now, Kolesnik and her mother, who were both at yesterday's protest, say they did have a rape kit done. She also took out a protection order against her alleged attacker, an 18-year-old male senior. Now, their biggest concern, though, that student can still attend classes here at Lisbon High School. It's devastating to just to see your school that you trust. You're supposed to trust and you're supposed to feel safe in. It's not a safe place anymore. It's not, nothing's being done beyond what they say they can legally. I can tell you that is probably a parent's worst nightmare and I am absolutely sickened and heartbroken and I know that one day justice will be served. I'm just really well supported, like I'm not alone and I don't know, makes me get up every morning, honestly. Now, Lisbon School Superintendent Richard Green released a statement saying, in part, we are deeply concerned and aware of the allegations that have been posted on social media. Please be assured that student safety is our top priority, and we have and will continue to work closely with the Lisbon Police Department throughout this active investigation. Now, Kolesnik did file a police report, but as of right now, no charges have been pressed. Of course, if you need help and you know someone or you yourself have been impacted by sexual assault, there are resources right here in Maine that number and website at the bottom of your screen. Lee and Jess. Thank you, Zach Blanchard, live in Lisbon this morning.